Sorry guys, sorry. Uh, Bella's a little bit excited today, got the cowboy outfit on. Uh, today we're going to talk about adjusting your chain tension. Uh, but I've been doing a chain tension video ever since I've been working with Skidoo every year. And it's designed for new riders to know how to adjust their chain tension um, as well as keep it adjusted properly so you don't have any issues out there. So number one, you are not going to need a drill to tighten the bolt. You're also not going to need a breaker bar. All right. Not going to need one of these things. The leverage, you don't need that. All right. Now, I know you're laughing right now, but people have actually used those. So it's important to not make fun of those people, but to tell you don't use those. So I'm going to show you a simple and easy and quick effective way to check your chain tension and make sure it's always adjusted perfectly. All right. So what I've done is I've actually taken the uh, CVT cover off and I do this easy in the morning. Like when I'm filling up, I fill up, I check my oil by opening the door. I open up the CVT cover and I give it a shake and I uh, see if there's any movement that I need to adjust my chain. And usually I do not, but it's something you want to check in the first few rides for sure, because it's going to, the chain is going to stretch a little bit and then periodically, and you'll find out uh, when you might need to, how often you need to check it on your riding style, uh, as well as it's always good to just check when you clean it. Um, and we talked about that in the cleaning video, you're doing that every two to four rides or four to six rides, depending on the conditions you're riding in. So what I've done here is I put a little piece of tape here so that we can see if there's any movement. You do not need to put your brake on. I don't like to do that because I like to see if I'm, the track is moving and I like to have that, see if there's a little bit of movement. You also want to make sure that your sled is either on your deck or on the ground because that'll ensure that the track is not moving. So what you want to do is have a, just a little bit of play in there. And you can see this is moving not very much. Now through the magic of video, I'm going to actually back it off five full turns and I'll show you the difference. So on the other side, I've used the chain tension bolt to back it off five full turns and show you the difference. Now this is loose, okay? You can see that there's a lot of play in there. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna tighten it back up five turns. What you wanna do is just hand tighten and then back off a full turn and you'll get it to the ideal uh, chain tension. On the other side, you'll see there's a bolt there. You do not need to remove the circlip. You'll notice that there is a, a, one, a D uh, area on the clip that'll actually set in, and that's where you wanna set it. So if it's a little bit more, you just turn it back to that point, and it'll make sure that you have the proper tension every time. Well, there you go, guys. We're back to proper chain tension. You can now take this piece of tape off just using that for video purposes. So what you want to do is check it often, hand tight only, and then back off a full turn. We'll make sure that you have proper chain tension on every ride. Hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in down below, and we'll see you out in the PAL.